here we are in Sindelfinger and we've got a victorious Johnny Clayton. Johnny, congratulations. I think you'd be the first to admit it wasn't your best, but a win's a win. Yeah, I needed that. You know, whichever way that win came, I'm happy because in the last week of darts, it's not gone my way, so I'm back, hopefully. I was going to say, I was about to touch on that. Since you won your Pro Tour in early March, the form seems to have deserted you a little bit looking at the results. Is there any particular reason for that? I don't know. I've been struggling my doubles, like, big time. I think I score, right? And when it comes to out shots, I don't know. It's just I don't feel comfortable, so... Hopefully, it's a start back on the right track. You sound that. Is that like indicating the darts you had at 32? You had um, three clear darts to win it outright, and they were almost safe darts instead of attacking it? Yeah, they were safe. They were safe darts, but you've got to attack. And, you know, I thought on the, after the second dart, I thought the third dart, I've got to attack this, and I was nowhere near, and it costs. So, yeah, you've got to attack everyone. You surrendered your Euro Tour title to Michael, obviously, last week. What's the next step for you? Obviously, you're 15th in the world. How does Johnny Clayton now break into the top 10? I don't know. It's hard work, and obviously, my, I'm quitting my job in the next couple of months. So, it's a bit more practice, and let's see what happens. Is that daunting, giving up your job to become a full-time darts professional? Not daunting. It's just something new. You know, obviously, I'm 44, and I've worked all my life. So, it's a change, and I don't know what that brings, you know. So... Bit nervous. I suppose it gives you the extra time though to focus on solely darts instead of obviously I'm guessing you practice at evening after you've done your day shift. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a different mindset obviously where I've got all day to put my practice in rather than start practicing at nine at night after the kids go to bed, you know. So yeah. Tomorrow, it more than likely should be Peter right if we go by the form book. It's now arguably a good time to play Peter because he's not in the best of form right now. So that would be a huge scalp if you could get the job done. Oh yeah, you know, dance is a funny game. It plays it up and down, and obviously you want to perform at a good time when the other player is down. So cross fingers, yeah, it's a good time to play him. Johnny, congratulations on a great result, and all the very best tomorrow. Thanks very much, buddy. Cheers, pal.